Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Diana and I hope you're all okay. So let's get to it. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Diane, let's get to it. So, today, I've lost my marbles. Actually, I haven't, I found them. I found a, a deal on eBay with massive box of marbles and I've decided to use some of these ones which are all sparkly, like a like an iridescent coating on them. Yeah, not sure if that's showing up on the camera, but anyway, I've decided to fill this beautiful interresin mould of the birdie that interresin kindly sent me a while ago. And I've only just getting around to doing it. I'm very sorry. I've, I did forget. Um, so, yeah, we're going to have a play with this today and see how this comes out full of marbles. Uh, I'll be using this um, four hour demold resin from J Diction and I shall also be adding a tiny little bit of the Inter Resin Original Aurora Powder just so that it's not, if there's any bigger areas where there's no um, marble showing it's not quite so bland. So I'm going to mix up some resin. Um, as this is mostly going to be filled with marbles, it's, it literally is going to take all of these marbles, plus these two, which I have to shove in the tower, they're a little bit smaller. I'm hoping anyway. Um, I'm not going to need a lot of resin, and because of it's deep on here, I don't need a deep pour, again, because I'm filling it mainly with what you would call a filler. So I'm going to mix up a bit of resin, and I'll be back shortly. Okay, so I mixed up a... What is it? A hundred? I don't know, a hundred on this. Um, five pounds for, for flour. <coughs> I don't know, it's 50 of one, 50 of the other. So, um, it's roughly 150. No, ignore that. It's roughly uh, 150 fluid ounces, I think. I don't know. So, as you can see, because this is a really thick resin, Using the Astoyo, which is what I used, I used my Astoyo automatic AI mixer. Absolutely love it. But because it's a thicker resin, it has caused a lot of bubbles, as you can see. Lots and lots of bubbles. But I don't think it's going to matter because putting these and this in there is going to cause a lot of bubbles anyway. So I'm not bothered by that. So I'm just going to go around the edges and down the bottom just to give it a good thorough mix so that if there's any around the edges and along the bottom that the mixer didn't get it gets all gets mixed in so you don't end up with no unmixed resin which is not a good thing so that's all mixed in nicely there now oh this really is thick <laughs> Gosh, it's gone really chilly in the UK compared to how it has been. I'm going to put a little bit of this original um, inter resin, original Aurora powder in. It's a beautiful blue. So I'm hoping this will just give it a nice little bit of a, a tint. I don't know how much to put in. That's roughly, I don't know what roughly is. That's just a little spoon and a little scoop for now. So we'll put that one in. And we'll see what that looks like once it's mixed in. Oh, I do love this powder, it's so pretty. Mixing and mixing. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. I just created some really big bubbles then, silly me. And carried away with my mixing. Can you see that? That's so pretty. Um, will that interfere with? I'm just going to add a tiny little bit more, just because I can. So that's probably one and a half of these teeny tiny little spoon scoops. So not a lot needed at all. Back in there before I lose it because it did a little pot. See, mixy. Oh, look at 
it on the surface. <laughs> well, I've not mixed it in yet, so so pretty. Right, okie dokie. Oh, and there's another big bubble, you silly woman. Stop that. Okay, I'm happy with that. Very nice. Right. So, first things first, what I need to do is get these two, two little marbles. And as the tail is kind of, it's it's a flat tail, I can just about get two marbles just inside, one either side. I won't get nothing in the end here, which is why I wanted a little bit of colour in the uh, resin. But not colour, sorry, a bit of sparkle in the tail so i'm just going to push them oops come back you little bugger get in there so i'm just gently pushing them in it will distort the mold a little bit while i push them in but i don't think it'll detract from the actual shape too much so there we go we've got my little my little marbles in there right so now what we're going to do is pour a little bit of this in and then we'll pour, put some marbles in and then put some just go alternating it in between backwards and forwards and see how we go so let's pop that there oh this really is thick look at this how gloopy this is Bloop. it's so gloopy okay i'm gonna need no way i thought this was going to be not a lot of resin but I've already filled that about a third of the way and I've barely touched it. Gosh, that's crazy. <laughs> but anyway, let's get on with it. So I'm going to give at the very front where the beak is, I'm going to give it a bit of a squeeze because we don't want a bubble trapped in there. There was one trapped in there and I'm trying to stop it going back. So let's pop it up there a bit. Get the bubble to come up. I'm just moving it around so that it doesn't go back into the hole, which is what it wants to do. There we go. Okay, I think I've I think I've got rid of the bubble. Excellent. Right. So now I'm just going to manoeuvre this a little bit up and get some of the resin flowing into the tail end while I've got room to manoeuvre it. Bubbles coming through now. Oh, I popped that one out. Whoopsies. <laughs> Didn't want to pop that out, did I? Right. Oh, that's it. Wait for the bubbles to burst. So we can get them back out. Right. Okay, right. So I've got that one there. Just get my little pokey stick and poke this little bugger back in. Right, you there. I think now you're a bit covered in resin. You should go back in nicer. Come on, play nice. Get in the hole. I think I'm going to have to do my. F get in. Go on, in. Nope, I'm going to have to use my finger. Okay, right. So, getting messy, shoving that in there and shoving that in there. There we go. Got it. Goopy finger now. But, oh no, it's popped out again. <laughs> nope, don't pop back out, thank you. Right, I think I've got that in there now. Nope, it's gone. No, nope, come back, come back, come back. Trying to escape. Come back in there. Come on. Get back in there where you're supposed to be. Thank you. Don't be naughty. There we go. Now just stay there. Thank you. Nicely. Right, I'm just going to have to keep an eye on this a minute and just pop some Marley's in. 
because that one's been a little swine and wants to skip away with the fairies. Oh, whose bright idea was this? <laughs> right, I'm going to hold that like that and try and keep those two there. Okay, right, let's just try and hold them there. No, it's gone again. Oh, my days, what am I doing? I have no idea. <laughs> no, stop! I should have just left them as they were. Okay, I think I'm just going to have to admit to defeat and I don't think that, that one's going to stay in there. I did measure out all of these. Just These should all fit in here. So I'm just going to have to try and shove them in and hope for the best. I don't think it's going to stay in there anyway now. It just doesn't want to. Whatever I do, it just keeps popping back out. Very frustrating. I think that's about as good as I'm going to get it. Right. Okay. I'll play with the mould a little bit because I don't want it distorting the mould. I need to make sure that there's enough marbles to cover the whole base as well. Oh, that was fun. Let's just move it back over a bit now. Just going to very slowly let this seep in. Don't think we need a lot now. Absolutely covered in resin. And this is why we wear gloves. Because without them, we would be in a right flipping mess. Oh, and well, here's another one of my little friends. Come on, little fella. Let's go. Let's get you a web. Come on, there we go. We'll go off down there. to get some of that resin back in the tail because obviously it's come back out now. Right. You can see some bubbles. There's a big bubble there. I need to get to the top. There it comes. Birth the bubbles. Birth the bubbles and not the marbles. And I think all the marbles have come out of the tail now. But it is what it is. There's another bit more bubble there. Oh, this is the messiest job I've ever done, and messiest um, make I think I've ever done. I'm so glad I put my messy cardi on. It's 
squiggly's throwing crap all over my roof again. Right, let's get these bubbles out. Stick the resin in, shove the bubbles out. Okay, right. I think that's about as good as it's going to get. As this being a four hour de, uh, demold, I do not think it's going to degas very well. So if there are bubbles, they are going to stay in there. But hopefully I will be able to maybe fix them with a bit of UV resin if they're not too bad. So I'm going to leave that like that. Leave it for a bit of shrinkage as well. Right, I'm going to leave this to set up. I'm going to give it the four hours. Then I'll be back and we'll see how it goes. So, see you soon. Okay, so that's been sitting, uh, queuing on my heat mat for about two and a half hours. And it is rock solid now. Um, it has, there obviously was some more bubbles in there than I realised. And we've got a big gap in the bottom. However, it's nice and flat. And we can fill it up with resin, um, UV resin. There is a lip on the side, so I'm, I'm going to see what it's like being just as it is. So let's just try demolding. As we thought, there are a lot of bubbles. But I think they're fine. Oh, that looks really pretty. Right, let's see how to get this mould off. Oh, get my gloves out of the way. Oh, it's very warm because I've been in on the heat mat easy this this silicon is so soft nice and pliable so no problems getting it off off sorry so let's have a look oh look at that that's so cute i really like that i think that's really cool i'm glad to put it put the um the blue in it the glittery bit because it just adds that little extra bit it's a bit of a strange bit there on the thing but oh yeah i think that's really cool there's like little really indented little tiny bits there which i'm gonna put a little bit of pen in i have a black spectrum noir alcohol uh, acrylic paint pen very big and that's a very small hole what happens if we just go bloop it doesn't look very good nope I'm gonna mess with that right let's try cleaning that back up again not quite sure what happened there there's a can you see like a frosted bit it's a bit strange. I don't know what's happened on that. Right, anyway. I'll just do that. That's not that's much better. Just press that in. There we go. Ah, there we go. Two little eyes. Much better. We can see the little fella now. Not going to do anything with his beak because he doesn't need anything. It's a little good beak. But yeah, I'm really happy with that. Um, it's a very unique shape. A really chunky little birdie. I love him. Absolutely love him. Can't really see. What, what has happened though is because of the resin, it's lost a lot of it. The iridescence on the marbles. But you can see the colours in it better now, which I think is really cool. And there are some clear ones in there, so it looks like there's literally nothing there. It's really, really, really cool. And I don't think it matters that we didn't really get both in the tail. We got a little bit there, but I'm, I'm happy with that fella. He's a little cutie. So let me know what you think. Um, thank you again, Interesin, for sending this to me because it, it's a beautiful mould. Really happy with it. And I've got some other ideas what to use it for. Try with some less bubbly resin next time. So again, thank you for watching. 
uh like i say i hope you enjoyed the video oh before we go let me just have a quick look inside on here yeah actually there there's the problem on the mold there's some and i've not used anything in there here i just used it straight off so there is a bit of a fault in my mold but like i say i'm happy with it i can always give that a bit of a polish up um i like the little chappy as he is so thanks for watching thank you to my subscribers channel members and any of the wonderful suppliers out there who send me the products to test and to share with you all i do have links in the description box below for several different companies some are affiliate links which cost you nothing they just owe me a few pen pennies to use for the channel and there's also discount com codes for you to save a few pennies yourself as well so i hope to see you on the next one bye Thanks for watching. Bye.